Hi, this is your instructor Ahesis and in this lecture, I will teach you how to monetize your application using interstitial ads. Interstitial ads are full screen ads that covers the interface of the host application when they are loaded. So in this lecture, I will unveil the best way to apply interstitial ads by focusing on where, when and how. Take for instance, the user is on the game trying to jump some obstacles and suddenly the interstitial ads pops up. When this happens, the user will lose control and the game will be disrupted. So when you talk about where and when, that is the wrong time and the wrong position to place your ads. Secondly. What if the user opens your application and the first thing they see is the interstitial ads? <laughs> Friends, that is also annoying. The best way to apply interstitial ads is to notice when there is a pause on the application. Alright, when the user want to relax or exit the application. In this course, we are going to apply the interstitial ads right on the exit button. So. When the user hits on the exit button, the interstitial ad pops up and at that junction, the user is relaxed and more focused to check out the ads. So quickly, let's implement the code. Open up your Android Studio. Hit on start a new Android Studio project. Select empty activity. Hit on next. Specify the name of your project right here. Demo ads. And then hit on the finish button. Open up the activity underscore main.xml. Let's bring the layout on board. Alright, so I'm just going to stretch it to the left. Beautiful. And now let's assume this to be the exit button. Wipe off the test view. And I'm going to do button. Let's give this button an ID. So in the application, this will serve as the exit button. Friends, we are not going to focus more on the beauty of the application. So you may not have the application look attractive, but don't worry, the purpose of this lecture is to understand well enough how to place interstitial ads. And now I'm going to change the test to exit test size 50 SV. Beautiful. Um, we just have to change the background of the layout color accent. Awesome. Having done this, quickly let's go back to the main activity and define our view. Right here I'm going to do button and I will call it um, exit button. Let's initialize an onCreate method. M exit button equal find view by id r dot id dot the id of the exit button right in the activity underscore main dot xml btn exit so friends if you are interested to build your first mobile game in android studio just exactly what you saw at the introduction the link to get a complete course is right in the description below minimize the android studio open up the google ads folder And then open up the ads. Don't worry, this folder would be given to you. Check in the description below. And then the first thing we're going to do right here is to copy this. Go back to Android Studio. Squeeze it out. Open up the manifest package and then Android manifest.xml. Paste it here. Minimize the Android Studio one more time. Copy this, Ctrl C, go back to Android Studio, open up the Grado script, 
we are going to paste it right in the up level crowd Control V to paste. At this time, you require internet connection to build this up. So make sure your internet connection is turned on. Hit on sync now. Let's wait for some few minutes for the gradual to sync. Synced successful. Minimize the Android Studio. Now we have to copy this which is the interstitial add test ID. But before we move on, I have to show you where you can read up the documentation. Here is the URL. And make sure to read up the documentation if you really have time for that. But my duty in this lecture is to guide you on how to implement the interstitial ads and not to read the documentation. All right, so let's move on. Minimize. Ctrl C to copy this if you haven't done that and then go back to Android Studio. Now we have to open up the REST which is the resource, open up the values and here we are looking for the strings.xml. We're going to create a new string. The name is going to be interstitial underscore add underscore id. Close it up and then paste the id right here. Having done this, let's get started. Close it down, close it down, close it down. Let's explore here. Private interstitial art. And I will call it M interstitial art. Let's instantiate it quickly. M interstitial art equal new interstitial add taking this as contest semicolon to terminate it let's get the id from test string m interstitial add dot set add unit id and right here i'm going to do get string we have to pass in the interstitial add test unit id r dot string dot interstitial underscore add underscore id beautiful let's load the add m interstitial add dot load add add request right before the opening parentheses i'm going to do dot builder dot build when the interstitial ad is loaded, we want to show it to the users when the exit button is clicked. So right here, I'm just going to do m exit button dot. We have to set on click listener for it. This is the method right here. Set on click listener. New view. All right. You just have to hit on your enter key to select the first method. And it is going to override the on click. If m interstitial add dot is loaded, m interstitial add dot show. This is a method defined in the interstitial add class, and the responsibility of this method is to show the add. And else, if something went wrong, log dot d for the tag, I'm going to do adds, comma for the message, I'm going to do and then lastly, this button is going to carry out two different tasks. The number one task is to show the ads to the users and the second task is to exit the application so i'm just going to do finish perfect guys we have to place a semicolon right here the errors are gone quickly let's run our application to see what we have on board installed successful and here is it
friends there is one good practice that I want to share with you in this lecture and the practice is this whenever you are integrating Google Ads on your application it is so important to include your device test ID simply because if you don't do that Google will show your device a reward ad and whenever you click on those ads definitely you will be penalized and Google don't care to know if it was done by mistake or it was intentionally done alright so one of the best way to avoid penalty from Google is to include your device test ID and sometimes the penalty could be to suspend your ad for some certain month or to completely block your ad friends I have been a victim of Google penalty don't try to test that soup so hot so you must learn to do the right thing now let's include the device test ID quickly minimize this guy minimize this guy and then I'm just gonna copy the device test ID Ctrl C to copy go back to Android Studio open up the strings.xml paste it here now this is where you will include your own device test ID so try as much as possible to figure out your device test ID and then paste it right here having done this go back to the main activity.java and right here we are going to call the device test ID dot add test device when you do this you will have your ad running smoothly thank you for watching and if this lecture helped you do well to smash the like button and as well support this channel by subscribing I am going to upload the next lecture on how to integrate a banner ad on your application the best way and the best practice to do that so make sure to hit the notification bell to stay tuned Shalom